Breast cancer survivor Penny Parolis has made a name for herself in the lingerie industry. Today she's going to share her journey with cancer and tell us how she uses her position in her lingerie shop to educate South Africans about breast health. My journey with breast cancer, that started in 2011. We had just visited Paris for the um, summer trade fair of the swimming costumes where we go and look at the world brands of swimming costumes. I had a very bad cold, so my husband said, don't worry, you'll get over it and you can relax now and have a holiday. The next morning I got up, had a shower, and I don't know whether it was divine grace. To this day, I believe it was divine grace because I don't, I'm not one of the people that checks my breasts every month. I go once a year for the, for the checkups and that's what I leave it to. And something made me brush my hand against my bust and I felt something odd. And I thought, what is that? And I put my hand on my bust and it was, I felt a little lump. So I went for a mammogram and um, they also did a scan and it was diagnosed as a malignant tumour. The problem was that in January that year I had had a gynaecological checkup. I had had a mammogram uh, early, uh, uh, late the year before and everything was fine. So this was a very fast growing um, uh, growth. The operation was um, scheduled for the Tuesday but I did not have the operation on the Tuesday because the doctor saw I had a very bad cold. She says, we'll give you a bit of time to recover. You've just come back from overseas. We'll do the biopsies and everything. We'll wait till the Thursday. When I woke up, the first thing obviously was I touched my breast and it wasn't gone. So it was only a lumpectomy. It was... It wasn't a difficult time, I have to say, and I just feel that my faith kept me going. The first thing that every morning when I'd get up was do something special for yourself. And for me, of course, coming from the world of bras and not being able to wear a bra, I had to find something that would fill in that gap. And so for, before I'd go into the radiotherapy, I would wear this lace bralette. It's very soft, it didn't hurt the skin because the skin becomes extremely sensitized when you're having radiotherapy. And I'd wear that. And then, of course, every day I'd wear a different color. And that helped to uplift my spirits and my psyche. And obviously, doing something small for yourself each day really helps. Something, whether it's even going for a walk, that was another thing I did. I would go to the urban park in Greenpoint every afternoon, late afternoon, and sit near the ponds there where the ducks are and just take in the nature and the stillness of the nature there and say to myself, well, another day is gone, another day of treatment has gone, and it's one step further to getting to good health. For me, you know, after this this episode that I had, I realized that breast health was very, very important. And in South Africa, and I think even I was quite surprised when I was in France in January, one of our suppliers told us that even in, in France, many women do not know how to wear the correct size bra. So my emphasis as a result of my breast cancer is we do give professional fittings here. They're free of charge. They're, a, a, a client is not obliged to buy.